Hello everyone and welcome back to Arc Lash Legacy. Um, last time I believe I finished with a fairly difficult fight around here. Um, I think I actually had to reload twice, but I do really find that fight challenging. And now I guess let's head further through the patron's hold. Or, um, well I'm not certain if this is meant to be the hold yet or just the path leading to it. Now, we could go up here, or we could go through here, and this appears to be a dead end with only a chest, so this might be a good way to go. I suspect there will be a fight, though. Yeah. What do we have? A quaster, two archers, and a gargoyle. I expect a respawns. Okay, now I wouldn't mind if everyone just attacked this, except for Frinz, who will go here. Now, the Quaestors work fairly annoying, if I remember correctly. They have a heal, the channeled instructability, which I can at least taunt. Uh, reducing physical armor isn't so bad. And the Shadow of Cain is not that terrible either. So, yeah, I still want to shut him down because of the heal that he uh, can output. So, Nella in shutdown range. Frinz, I want you to actually attack the Quaester. Now, the first thing you'll do is debuff him. Followed by Shatter Concentrate. Knocker. Maintain. You are a Body mind, be mended. Okay, we have a horror spawning. They, as I've shown before, they're not much trouble. Ha! Except something is attacking Nella, which I don't like. So I'm going to heal her. We and then instantly feast of her. Well, and Nella, if you could. Are you being taunted? No, you're not. So I should be able to just shut down the quaestor. And Frinz, didn't I tell you to attack the guy? Reapply the debuff. And reapply the shatter concentrate. Now, because I can, I'll shut down the gargoyle. The quaestor is dead after all. Now what I have is two horrors, the gargoyle, and two archers. Wait, did that not work? Did I not cast it? Or is he just immune? Is he immune? Uh... Ah. Okay, so he's currently casting the body, or he was casting the bodily mystic, which immuni immunized him against control effects. So he could not be controlled by my uh, spell. Now I want to heal. Be healed. And then, as always, feast. Knocker should be okay with the self heal, actually. And now we just want everyone attacking the gargoyle. Especially friends who can debuff and shatter concentrate. Now everyone go for which one's attacking Nella? This one. And I could use the heal. What would you? And the feast again. I hope my spacebar isn't too loud. By the way, I've been told that my uh, my new microphone setup makes my mic my. Uh, Microphone pick up the keyboard quite loudly, so I'm trying to press it gently, basically. I meant okay, who's attacking Winderu, the other archer? So, you're next to go, I'm afraid. And Nella is doing okay MP wise, so let's just shut him down. Winderu can have some peace then. Okay, did not stun that one in time. Yeah. 
There we go. Now I can open the chest. And I think that's about it. So now let's make our way to the stairs. But first, I did get some earrings. Uh, I don't like losing the MP region, especially 0.7 per second. That's quite hefty. Um, you would lose damage. That's not fine. So would you. So would you. Um, yeah, I think these can just all go away. Relics. Don't want this one. Don't want this one. This one has duration of control. Hmm. No. Definitely no. Um. No. Okay, this can just go as well then. And I think some people got level ups. Wenderu did. Okay, I can improve the bloody feast to the highest level. Um, fair enough. I could upgrade it so that if I use it on an enemy, it no longer heals them. Instead, it just transfers my reduction and damage effects. So negative stuff gets transferred to the enemy that I feast off. Or I could upgrade it so that um, if I use it on an ally, that ally gets the increase and support effects currently affecting Wenderu. I don't really think either of those are that strong. So I think for now I'll leave it as it is. Um, yeah. And I might go either for stronger leech grain or stronger mystic predator. I think I'll improve the leech grain. And the others are still not leveled up. Okay. And only one character has to activate the door, we don't need everyone, or the, the staircase, we don't need everyone to be there. Now a bit of a loading screen, um, but I read this one out before, I believe. And yes, up there we have a bit of a hint saying that suffering damage slows the speed of first aid. Um, that is something you might already have noticed that if I'm trying to revive one of my fallen comrades while I'm under attack um, it slows slows that healing almost to a crawl um, depending on how much damage I take if it's just a little normal guy attacking it's usually okay if it's more than one or if it's it's a strong enemy that pretty much makes it fail um, now the question is Where do I want to go? Okay, there's uh, enemies here. Spectres, archers. Uh, whose control skills is he trying to block? Knockers. Um, I'm not happy with that, so... And he is trying to do the same thing. Okay, fine. I won't interrupt him then. I'll just have everyone split up a little. Wenderu, you can go here. Prince, you you're my off damage. So, Flesh Spectre is just casting the Fury of Cain. Um, oh yeah, this is a an elite Ira Tenebrae. Tenebrae, Tenebrae. Why not? Um, shredding of skin. Oh, oh, this is nasty. They have an instant cast silence ability. And what that means is um, no ability to cast spells. So anything that costs MP, I believe, is blocked, which is very nasty, especially because I can't interrupt it. So I almost think that's our priority target for the moment. Everyone attack the Ira. Because obviously that silence effect it would be really annoying on Nella. So... Nella, okay, you did not get hit by the silence, so that's good. 
that black priest is trying to heal, which we do not like. I want that Ira dead as soon as possible. Now I'll get back a little bit. Now that black priest is trying to heal and I can't do anything about that. Well, darn. Not good, not good. Um, this only steals increased effects. Okay, I'm afraid this canticle from beyond is going to go through. Okay, that didn't do too much though. I think we should be okay. Friends, you're still recharging for another six seconds. Uh, not enough MP for the lightning attack. Now, Frinz should be okay. So, let's kill the Ira. Next thing, the Flash Spectre. I think I'll leave that to Frinz. He should be okay. Nothing. Let's debuff it and then just auto attack. Um, and everybody else. Everybody else, just take on the Black Priest. This Black Priest, to be precise. Knocker, I'll maintain the buffs on. She'll be okay. And you notice why I think she's a better tank than Bolam. Um. She needs way less attention from healers. Okay, now the Flesh Spectre has decided to attack Wenderu. I'll take Frinz back a little. Reapply the debuff. And then apply a headshot. I know it's not called headshot, but let's face it, that's what it is. Um, since I have the MP, I might as well stop him. Good, 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 good. Now everyone go for the Black Priest, except for Wenderu, who's going to heal Fricks. Now there's only two archers left. And as I've shown before, every single enemy here is affected by mental control. I just don't know what that actually means. Just keep it in mind, I believe it's going to be relevant for the story. Okay. And we had some level ups. Knocker. I'll just go further down the line of the prismatic silica. Um, this next point will upgrade the regeneration effect. Denzel, I could um, increase it, increase the mystic theft, so it removes increase and support effects. But I think the way I want to go is um, change it so that the silence effect is applied even if I don't remove any increase effects. And I have to remember to actually use this ability from time to time because it's really strong. Nella, um, I think I want to make this so it's a silence effect as well. And while I'm not certain, I believe the level cap is 20. So we won't be able to upgrade our characters indefinitely. Um, Wrathful Spirit removes the damage effects on the targeted ally, increases the duration of reversal of healing on the targeted enemy. So this makes this effect more useful. And I think one of the final upgrades will remove the uh, incantation time, which would be nice. The other one removes the cooldown, which would also be nice. Now. I think I remember this um, this puzzle here. Actually, I, I don't think I quite remember, but I've got the details. Um, oh, you know what I mean. I remember this puzzle being there. I just don't remember what exactly I had to do, I believe. Yep, I can activate these... Um, Um. 
So if I step on one of these... This will make left... And center one active. This will only make left active. You, you see these signs here, basically the ones that are glowing green are active, I believe. This will make center and right active, and this will only make the right one active. So I think what I have to do is, essentially I have to step on, uh, for example, this button here. This will mean any trigger I, any f switch I flip now will uh, a affect these two um, symbols. So the thing that these two symbols have in common is for both of them I need the circle. So I think if I now take Nella and activate the circle pieces, which is this one and this one. Yep, I have the circles drawn here underneath these two, and this one doesn't need the circle. Now, if I... actually, nope, I won't... Uh, might as well use the same character, it doesn't matter. If I step on this one now, I'll only activate this, uh, this outermost symbol and what I need on these are the uh, the other round pieces essentially but I don't need these on the other ones so I need to trigger them like this I hope I'm explaining this well um, it's not really a complicated puzzle at all it's just uh, more of a problem of understanding how to make it work now next I want this and this is not the fastest solution, by the way. It's just one that works. Because for these two, I need the this edge thing here. Um, this one. Now the center one is actually done. Which means I need to step on this one. And I believe I need this switch now. To get the upper part of that straight line here. It might help if you watch this in in full uh, in full screen, high def, 720 or maybe even 1080p to make it a little more clear what I'm doing. Now, lastly, the left sign needs some changes. I need the vertical line, this one. And this one. Yep. Now, the place this takes me is, I think, back to the entrance. So I'm not sure if anything changed there or if I just unlocked a shortcut, basically. I'm definitely quick saving. As I said, the puzzles aren't very complicated. They just require sometimes a little concentration, sometimes just the effort of working out what they actually want you to do. Now the question is up here. Um, is this where I want to head to? There's definitely a chest here, so... I do want to go here. I'm not certain if this is where the storyline needs me to go, but... I definitely won't resist a chest. And I just suspect that there's going to be enemies, yes, such as these. Uh, we have a Warrior of Belial, Black Paladin, Morbid Spectre. Oh yeah, those things were a pain. So Nella, I want you to shut down that Morbid Spectre immediately. And uh, now... Knocker can stay there, that's fine. Nella, I want a little closer. Frinz, I want a lot closer. And Wendery, you can just go here. And oh look, a horror spot. Now, Noka is being knocked down um, um, for three seconds more. That should be okay. Frinz, however, you will attack this Morbid Spectre. You will do the selective compression. Nice. And then hit him. Now, Noka. Buff yourself. Mm, that's good. Okay, so Frinz should be able to deal with this Morbid Spectre relatively quickly. Let's shut him down once more, so he can't do anything nasty. 
No, okay, so the His Corpse explosion inflicts a fear effect, but I think we should be okay, really. Winduru, why don't you just heal our tank? We are we and heal Nella in the process, that's okay. Now, the Flesh Spectre is casting Bond of Blood, which is a channeled damage over time. The Bard of Alahan is casting a projectile, which I think I want to interrupt. There's not so much space here, uh, which might make it a little complicated. Noka, take back the warrior of Belial, I think. Uh, I don't like that they're targeting friends, but I can't really do much about it at this point. Friends, why are you... okay, you were stunned or something. Decompress the Bard? Compress, rather. I will say decompression. For some reason it it seems like the name of that ability to me, even though it isn't. Good, good, good. Next, the Flesh Spectre, I guess. Uh, Noka. You would like some more self here? Uh, Nella, take a step back, maybe. Interrupt the warrior. And then get out of that damage over time field. Noka can retaunt, so take the paladin. Don't try and touch me, pathetic creatures. Friends, your recharge has another two seconds. Good, good. Now decompress this guy. Nothing. And then headshot him. Nice. So yeah, friends is definitely good for off damage. Um, why? Well, I've explained what I mean by that. It's a phrase that I am quite fami familiar with from uh, certain MMOs I'm playing. Well, from playing Guild Wars, basically. Black Paladin, what are you currently affected by? You're immune against all damage by using an increase effect. Now, I don't currently have Denzel, so I can't just remove that like that. But I can at least reduce the... well... It lasts for another 6 seconds. After 2 seconds of incantation time, I can steal it to take it on uh, Wendero. And now, interestingly enough, if I were to... Um, to bloodied feast on an ally now, that effect would then be transferred to an ally. It doesn't have much time left, so it will only last three seconds, but um, probably only like two seconds left by the time I finish casting. But still, I can take increased effects using the, the Mystic Predator, and then I can transfer them using Bloody Feast if I so desire. Um, which might be useful, more useful if they have a longer duration, or if they're a little more a um, little more useful. Because immunity against damage, while it's definitely a really strong effect, I don't really have much of a use for it. At least not at this moment. And be trampled. Let's just stun this guy. We don't want any explosions. And unless there's something I'm really missing about these horror guys, they are not much of an issue. You can basically ignore them and just deal with them last. They don't do very much. Friends, didn't I select you as well? Oh well. Fine, have a break. That's okay. Now everyone. Open the chest so we can pick up the loot. Now we will look at that stuff and spend the level up and such that we still have um, next time. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.